guys? I'm Caleb. And I'm Danny. And we're with GamingAtAGlance.com today to do an amazingly awesome unboxing. Danny, what are we unboxing today? Well, today, September 20th, is the release of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening is actually one of my personal favorite games of all time. It was originally released on the Nintendo Game Boy, the black and white version. Right, I had that. Oh, okay, yeah, and then they released it, re-released it for the Game Boy Color, uh, Link's Awakening DX. That's the one I played. Okay, that's it, the one I had. Yeah. I didn't have the black and Because it, it, it was a black cartridge, and it came with the, uh, the full color game and an extra dungeon. And then uh, that was pretty much, they re-released it one more time on 3DS, the game, the game Boy Color version. And it's kind of been not updated at all since then. And so now, today, in 2019, I can't believe it's happening, we have a remake of Link's Awakening. And it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Danny contacted me a few, a few days ago and was like, look, I've got a huge truckload of awesome Nintendo stuff <laughs> that is getting dropped off at my house. We have to come film an unboxing. Danny, what all do you have? Well, because not only do we have uh, the game, Link's Awakening, uh, but we got the Link's Awakening Zelda, uh, uh, the Link Amiibo. Look at this cute little guy. And I have every single Legend of Zelda Amiibo. All of them. Uh, the, and there's so many different links I have. I have the Twilight Princess one, Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time, you name it. And now we have a Link's Awakening Amiibo, and just look at this guy. It I really like looks it. like he got pulled right out of the game, he honestly. Really does. Because it. he's just like a little claymation wonder. It's just wonder. It's just so uh, cute and stylistic, and it's just awesome. And when they can capture it, I love it when it, something looks like it's just straight out of the game. Like uh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts recently put out the the Keyblade uh, replica oh, that you can get yeah. the, the foam one. Yeah. And I, and, I, and I bought it, and I felt like I was holding the real one from the game. So this having That's... that. Uh, that's so cool. I'm ready to dig into this. What, what else did you bring? And we got one other big goodie today. So, uh, today we also, the N Nintendo decided to release the Nintendo Switch Lite edition. And this is the turquoise blue model. Which is why it isn't showing up right now, but we're going to unbox it and you guys will be able to see it in its full glory. And yeah, it's a fantastic uh, little, it's an interesting idea. It's a Switch that doesn't switch. And I really, really wanted to pick one of these up because uh, I'm just like kind of, I have a thing for Nintendo hardware. Yeah. I always love when a new Nintendo console comes out. I had like six 3DSs. I think at some point I've owned every version of the 3DS. So uh <laughs> wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, Woo! so I, I, every single, but I, I don't, I don't have them all now. You know, Respect. sometimes I would trade them in to get the new model or something like that. So now I have, I have two 3DSs now. Uh, if you don't count the ones that my wife Sarah has. And anyway, so and then I also, uh, I also brought a copy of the the game that is not from the Dreamers edition because there's a little bit of an artwork difference between the two. Right. So I showed that. But anyway, so the the game and then Nintendo for whatever reason they decided they decided let's release on the same day as Link's Awakening the Nintendo Switch Lite. And this is $200, which is $100 cheaper than the regular Switch model. It's got uh, an improved battery life, but it's only in portable mode. So this is really for the type of gamer who only wants to play things when it's in handheld mode. Right. And I know a lot of people who play the Switch and never play it on the TV. So there's an audience for this sort of thing. Right. Well, I mean, a dedicated handheld is something that's kind of hard to come by now if you're gonna, yeah. not going to go back to the 3DS. So yep. having something that's a little bit more dedicated for handheld... I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get my hands on it and see how it feels. Well, that's so interesting because, you know, pretty much Nintendo killed off the dedicated handheld after they made the Switch because right. the Switch is a hybrid console. So to to then have another handheld-only console with, like, a limited library of games and then they would support that as well, it just didn't make sense. So this is kind of the, the fantastic answer to just say, okay, we'll make just a handheld version of the Switch. We'll still have a dedicated handheld and the hybrid version and then hopefully eventually a Switch Pro. Uh, I hope oh, that comes gosh. out too. Now that's we'll what that I'm up. saving my money for. Now, Caleb, I am so excited to get my hands on this. Do you want to go and do an unboxing? Let's go tear it open, but respectfully so we can put it back because we're not going to disrespect boxes that way. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go. Respect your boxes. Alright, and now it's all in its non-green green screen glory. So right, you, so you can see the crisp color on all this. You can really stuff. appreciate Man. this. We're gonna go in this order of, we're gonna look at the Dreamers Edition, then the Amiibo, then the Switch. So, 
starting with this bad boy. Now, I'm going to admit, I did open this earlier because I could not wait to play the game. How did so? And it's not a legit unboxing. It is Danny. not the first unboxing of this, but I have not looked at the art book yet. So okay. we'll look at the art book together uh, for the first time. We're so complete fraud. This streamer edition comes with the art book in the game. Uh, Europe actually got. Uh, collector's edition that comes with a, a steelbook case that's a Game Boy, like an original oh, Game Boy. So I don't know why so Europe awesome. got that, but we didn't. So here's the game box. You can take a look at the beautiful art style of this new game. Look at that. And actually, I want to tell a little story. You'll see the I have this little background cover of this. Uh, so my wife, Sarah, shout out to uh, Sarah. What up, Sarah? Uh, she uh, forgot to pre-order this game. Oh, so no. she does not have a copy of Link's Awakening pre-ordered, or did not before today. So she texted me, she was like, hey, are you at the store? And I was like, I'm about to be there. She was like, Make, can you pick me up a copy too? And, okay. and uh, uh, she'll pay me back, whatever. No big deal, of course I was happy to do it because I got her copy too. And I brought it here because I wanted to show off the Dreamer Edition actually has a special back to it. So. Uh, her copy is the more standard game, and it has sort of, you know, the features of the game, all that sort of thing, Synopsis. what language it's in, like all that little details. And then this comes with just a little uh, drawing of Coholent Island, which is the setting of the game. And you got the uh, Mave Village, and you got the Windfish Egg, and it's like a really uh, reduced version of the whole island. There's a lot more in the actual game, but it's just a cute little extra thing they put in the special edition, so I appreciate that. And you open it up. And you have a map of the entire uh, island of the game. Look at you that. You can see that. Mm. And I just love it. It's really detailed, sort of, kind of like the style of the Breath of the Wild maps that they, they were making. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. And then you got the uh, the actual game card here. So that's the game. I've already played it for about an hour or hour and a half, and I'm in love with it so far. But that's to be expected because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Now let's look at the art book. Art book. And it's got, again, the official cover art of the game. I love which that. Which is just beautiful. The glossy touch to it, to, to the main picture, too, really makes the whole thing pop. Oh, yeah. It's just so gorgeous. And uh, so let's open it up. Let's take a look at some pages. Uh, oh, you got a, a still shot from the first cutscene of the game. That's awesome. This is the opening when Link first washes upon Koholan Island. Oh, man. It's just absolute gorgeous art. Actually, when they announced this, or they showed this off in the first uh, Nintendo Direct that they did it, uh, I actually got this as my phone wallpaper background. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, it's a fun little thing. Now, this it has a lot of instruments in the game, so there's probably going to be a lot of those. Here's a, I believe it's a cello. A cello. Uh, I can't tell the size, but I think it's a cello. I could be wrong. And, uh, oh, wow. Now, this is great. They've got all the uh, concept art and the different prototype. And this is the concept art for the original game, not just uh, the remake, but this is what he looked like in the original game. That's so That's sick. so in And of course, it was a Game Boy game, so it was actually little sprites back then, but right. the official artwork for the game, that's what he looked like. I don't, remember, I don't remember League looking that good, so... Oh yeah, no, for sure, not back, back in those days, yeah. Because this is before Ocarina yeah. of Time, even, yeah. For sure. Anyway, yeah, so this is a lot of really wonderful design that they put into this game, and you can bet... I'm gonna look through every single page of this, because... The, they did such a good job with the visual design for this game. It's so cool. It really does pop, and it, it looks it looks cute enough to still be taken seriously. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Not, I love it. All right, well, I'm not going to look at much more. Uh, look oh, at Kinky the Monkey! Wow. Actually, no, this is Richard. I'm going to tell you a little fun story about this game. Fun story. Richard. So, Link's Awakening is a weird Zelda game because it has all these references to other Nintendo games. So there's a Yoshi doll, a Chain Chomp, you fight Goombas in the game. What? It's really, really cool. This is a reference to a game that came right before Link's Awakening called For Frog the Bell Tolls. It's a Nintendo game no one knows about, but it actually it used the engine that would later be used as the basis for Link's Awakening. Wow. So it came out right before. Really weird game. And Richard uh, makes a cameo in Link's Awakening. So I'm really, I love that new design for him too. Uh, for Frog the Bell Tolls. I hope this gets people talking about, hey, where's uh, For Frog the Bell Tolls in HD? You know? Let's see it. <laughs> Great. Let's see a remake. So that's a little taste of the art book, and I cannot wait to look through this because I love the artistic design that they went for for this game. They really, they always have the best ways. Like whenever I first played Wind Waker, a lot of people were kind of like, oh, I don't know. I fell in love with it right oh, away. Oh, yeah. I love the leaps that they do with different you know, takes on the Game. I was thinking that this will end up being very similar to Wind Waker, where at first you see a lot of people going, oh, the art style's weird, it's too cutesy, and then we're going to come back to this in 10 years and people are going to say, it's that, a was, masterpiece. that was one of the best looking games on right. the Switch, and, and that's what I, how I feel. So now, let's look at the wonderful little Link amiibo. Look at that guy! Straight out of the game. My goodness! Yeah, it looks like you literally just plopped him because it's like a diorama. So we're gonna we're gonna defile this wonderful box that it came in. Just really tear it open. Every collector on YouTube is like, what are you doing? Look, here's the thing. I collect amiibo. I've got about over a hundred. Maybe one day I'll show them at gaming at a glance. And 
whenever uh, people that I watch on YouTube collect amiibo, they don't take them out of the box. Right. And I get that to an extent, but these, to me, they're toys. They mean too much. I just, I have to pull them out, you know? I need to... Can you, you, you can't use them unless you take them out of the box, right? Can you yep. still, you can still use them? You cannot use them if they're in the box. Okay, yeah. Holy crud. Look at that guy. Look at this little guy. You can see he's got the Hylian shield. This is a sword that he starts with at the beginning of the game. The glossy touch really makes him pop. Here, give, give that one a feel, kid. Let, let, oh, let me man. see the weight. Wow. Oh, and it's solid, too. It's not yeah. super light and flimsy. Now, he, if you scan him into the game, I believe, and I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure you spawn Shadow Link in the game. What? And uh, you can fight him. So that's really cool. That is amazing. I love the shield. The shield's yeah. the best. Oh. So, I'm, oh man, I cannot wait to play with that later. And he, and he is going to go right on my shelf. I have every Zelda amiibo, and so of course I had to get this day one. So, get a good look at that beautiful little man. Wow. And go play his game. <laughs> look at his ears. I love the ears. They oh yeah, well, the Hylians have the pointy ears. It's yeah. great. Yeah. That's so cool. Exaggerated details. And now, here's the one thing that, this is the a first part. unboxing for me. So, uh, I, I did, the obviously the amiibo was an unboxing, but I have not opened this bad boy you yet. You guys can't see this, but the hair on Danny's neck is standing up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's just uh, let's go ahead and just get into it. They didn't do it. They didn't put any uh, pesky tape on this one, so it's, it's really it nice. They do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you would think with Nintendo being about you know with like the Labo being all cardboard based, they, they should know how to you know put a console in a box. Absolutely. Uh, tape. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, we're getting this. Does it have the new Nintendo game smell? Oh, dude. It, uh, let, let me let me smell it real quick. Yeah. <sighs> look at that. Oh, I can confirm. <laughs> smell. Oh, let's take a look at this bad boy. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, interesting. Oh, goodness, it fits perfectly in my hands, dude. Now that is really, really exciting. A classy, dedicated handheld. I, it looks smooth. Like I said, smooth. I just absolutely love new Nintendo hardware. Oh, I love the D-pad, too. I think it's better than the, the regular Switch has the four buttons for the D-pad. Yeah, I would prefer And uh, All right, Caleb, here you go. Okay, Take all a right. feel. All right. Oh, God. No, I'm just <laughs> oh, yeah, that D-pad feels amazing. Yeah, man. The buttons kind of respond a little bit better. It didn't feel near, like... My only complaint about the Switch is that sometimes you can feel like it gets it feels a little flimsy. Sure, 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 and, yeah. Uh, this does not. This well, feels solid. And, and part of the thing that I think makes the Switch feel flimsy I is it has this. the uh, Joy-Cons, which are detachable. Right. But this, you have a fully smooth uh, system. And let's take a look at the, the back, too, that little sleek design in the back. Now, because this has a matte finish, it'll uh, probably be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Just right. a little bit. You can already start to see my my greasy hands, or my uh, <laughs> Italian oily hands oh God, getting the thing. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna definitely try some games out on this. I love the size. This reminds me a lot of the uh, the PS Vita, in terms yeah. of just the sort of sleekness and the compactness of it all. Uh, this honestly feels better in the hands than the PS Vita to me. Though. I would I would agree. And yeah. One thing that I've noticed with that, I, do, I could see my hands not getting near as tired playing that as they do when I play like a 3DS. Oh yeah, I think so too. And, and that's one of the reasons I really wanted this bad boy too, because, and we're gonna actually do a side by side. I love the Switch. I do not use it my current Switch, say hi Switch, <laughs> I don't usually use it in uh, handheld mode only because it's just a little bit heavy for me for long play sessions. Right. And so I love the weight of the original, or the new 3DS, the smaller model. I love that sort of thing. And this to me feels just as nice as that. So I'm gonna do a little side by side, see. I believe the screen is about uh, 1.5 inches or so smaller. I'm not uh, exact on those details. But yeah, so we're going to get this thing booted up so that we can uh, play some games on it, because what's, it. what's the point of buying this if you're not going to play games on it? Exactly. And uh, we're going to cut ahead to the future a little bit, Fast right after forward. we start booting these up, so we can get our, our Nintendo account set up. Oh yeah. Love that. <laughs> So what are we looking at here, Danny? All right, now we have the new game, Link's Awakening, running on the new Nintendo console, the Nintendo Switch Lite. So we're just gonna try to see what it feels like to play a little bit of uh, the game on here. Already, and Caleb and I were just talking about this while we were booting everything up, the buttons feel fantastic. Right. They really, really feel good in the hand. Got a nice click to them. Yeah, and, and it's a different feeling than the regular Switch too. I would say. Very responsive. Yeah, they're, they're, which is great because again, this is actually connected to the Switch, so it matters a little bit more how it feels. So yeah, I just got into the first dungeon when I was last playing, and now we're just running around a little bit. 
oh man, I'm I'm gonna play the mess out of this game. And what's great too is that with my Nintendo Switch Online, it was really really easy to just transfer my save data right over. Is so, it easier than doing it on the on the DS on the 3DS or anything like that? On the three, it's a little bit easier on those consoles because you would just put one cartridge that already had the save data oh, in true. another system. Whereas this, I had to uh, connect to the uh, save data cloud. So. Well, I guess more what I get. I guess more what I was asking is, was it, was it easy to move your Nintendo account from like a login oh, to your other? Oh, that was effortless. That's the Effort, hard part no. with the 3DS. This, they made that so much easier with the Switch because uh, on the Switch, all you have to do is add your user to this account, and then hey, you can download the saved data. So, uh, and when Sarah gets home tonight, my wife, uh, she's gonna add her account to this as well, and then we can download each other's games on it and just play each other's games, which so, is awesome. And yeah. You know, budget-wise, fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, for families, it's, it's really fantastic. And it's kind of like, you know, uh, maybe we don't always want to buy two copies of every game, and we don't always really need to. So, right. uh, well, I mean, you also don't have to run into the whole, hey, you can't play it because that's my game. You know, right. It's all on one Switch. She can have shared. all of her save data on her Switch, all of mine. Our user profiles won't mess with each other's at all, and we can have them just both on the Switch. So it's great. And I already i am freaking out because I love this dungeon. I love this game. Cannot wait to do all the rest of the dungeons in this game. It looks great. The game, the colors really pop. The whole top-down function is it, it still works. Oh yeah, well, this is a great game to release with the Switch Lite, in right. my opinion, because it's got this really good style, and with the smaller screen, the uh, pixels are more dense, or the resolution uh, looks a little nicer. Now, did they do a special skin like uh, Switch Lite to go with it? No, yet? they actually didn't. Right now, you can get the one I'm holding, the turquoise blue. The uh, there's a gray one and a yellow one, and then. When Pokemon Sword and Shield come out, they're going to be releasing a uh, collector's edition of the Switch Lite for that. Ah, now that but, would make sense. But as of right now, no, there's no Zelda version, which is fine, because I really wanted this turquoise model. So, so it works out. All right, so now you get an idea of what a game looks like on the Switch Lite. So uh, if you like this video, like us as well, Gaming at a Glance. We're going to bring you more content like this. Yep. Feel uh, free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hop on our Discord channel. We are, we're on Twitch. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Or really, you can find it all at GamingAtAGlance.com the kind of main hub for everything where we also shoot our podcast yep yep where you can uh, hear me gush about games like this all the time <laughs> all the time and literally gush but make sure you check us out guys we appreciate you checking out this video go pick up a copy of Link's Awake yes go pick up a Switch Lite go pick up the Amiibos and we can all relax with some awesome Zelda action alright have a good day everybody thanks guys